Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to look at Google Advanced Search Operators and we'll also look at the importance of understanding the search operators that you can query the Google database with. Now if you're running your own SEO projects or if you want to um, learn and expand your understanding about Google or if you would like to become an SEO specialist then there is no way in this world that you can ignore Google advanced search operators okay so let's quickly have a look what in the world is Google advanced search operators now you may kind of understand um, advanced search operators you may have read about them online and so on there is surely great um, URLs um, on internet which I'm gonna show you a um, couple of them to expand your understanding now if you are not familiar with Google advanced search operators um, what it is 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 simply running certain um, search terms in Google search to bring different result sets according to what advanced search operators you run okay so you know the the, the, the usual ones are in URL what that's saying is okay find me whatever the keyword that you're looking for in the URL so it has to contain that keyword in the URL that's what you're saying and just be aware of this colon here that meaning in URL colon sample keywords or same thing is happening here you're saying okay what if I want to find keywords that is contained in the title of a document therefore you then say in title colon sample keywords whatever the keyword is same is true when you say in text you're looking for that keyword in the text of a document okay that's what you're saying Google to do is fetch down um, from its database um, result sets according to what you search another important one is file type colon PDF or file type colon doc but you can also mix and match these advanced search queries to narrow down your search okay so let's just um, open up Firefox to take a look I've got this URL open here you simply need to check it out it is www.googleguide.com forward slash advanced underscore operators dot HTML it has great information for you to look into advanced search operators in a little bit more detail okay um, there's great information you can simply just play around with them okay because that's the only way you're gonna learn it. and there's another resource here which is www.searchlaws.org forward slash google dot HTM okay simply one of the best um, information as far as search engine um, optimization is concerned you simply cannot ignore to browse this particular website and understand um, the the potent information okay so let's then conduct our search in Google search box as in let's say I'm looking for in URL SEO let's put the plus sign specialist I am looking for let's say a file type to make things um, I'm looking for text document but I want to exclude um, let's say uh, this file okay or this keyword in the URL as you can see it does bring Result set form to me regarding my search query. Okay, you can expand um, advanced search operators once you start understand uh, understand how all this works. Then you can really really narrow down what you're looking for online. Okay, so I want to give you another um, kind of tip for you. Let's say we got Google in the URL. Let's say I put forward slash. Let's say I want to do search. Okay, what that's saying is okay. That's a special term. 
I'm saying search put a question mark and then Q Q is query we can equal it and we can say okay SEO plus specialist okay let's just run this query through the address bar we can query the Google database like this as well okay press send and as you can see it does bring results to us to us just like um, we would have searched the search box but what you need to understand is this plus sign here okay that's like plus sign Google understands that that's like saying query the database with keyword SEO plus specialist okay then you can use an ampersand and say okay well let me put another query in say um, file type um, colon PDF or doc we can put another ampersand to say I want to put another query in here say okay Q, Q equals hmm, what can I look for I can say um, in title okay Google for example okay so let's just then run this query and you will see what's going on because it's gonna say okay well this is what you've done okay but what you're doing is you're doing it through the address bar now it's kind of very important to understand that stuff if you want to become um, a better search engine optimizer okay why is because you're running this n okay and this is a bitwise n okay but we don't need to get too technical let's just just understand that's one query and that's a separator but that's another query is another term okay and that's a separator and then we've got another term so you can basically expand um, your search um, and really really narrow down and find what you're really looking for at the same time understand that when you type a keyword in Google by default it is already using that end operator okay by default it's already using that now that's very important to understand because what is really going on is it's searching its database per keyword basis now forget about the um, ranking relevance factors okay that's another layer but before that you, you, the, the way the search happens is it does look for a, a single keyword first if I was to put a space that's like saying n whatever the search term but what happened it said look for keyword this and this okay it didn't say this okay it didn't that's one word okay Google's intelligent because it'll tell you if you search for this it'll say okay well hmm, you know what perhaps uh, you're looking for this okay so just understand that it is very important now to keep this video short I know I always want to pass on useful information to you um, let's talk about the benefits of understanding Google advanced search operators now if you are into SEO then you know that time is important right so once you start understanding this and once you make this knowledge yours then you, it will save time for you okay and you will track your target better whatever the target may be whether it's a keyword or URL okay or your competitors for example you can also find useful information on your competitors okay you really can okay you can also find useful stats okay you know web logs and so on okay you can I'll give you one quick example because you've been patient with me um, you can say okay why don't you look for um, in URL keyword that you're interested in and in title index of or um, in text colon webalizer and so on okay so you can really really expand your um, research and capabilities with Google advanced search operators okay and simply you can um, you know your search engine optimization projects can be better tailored to your needs or your 
clients' needs and so on, okay? And simply, you will definitely become a better online marketer. In fact, without knowing advanced Google search, search operators, you simply cannot be a good online marketer because part of being um, in the online marketing world is to be able to find information, to be able to search information. Now, as you know, a lot of people search Google, okay? But um, why? Because it's a useful resource for you, okay? So they are the benefits, okay? Very important, as you can see. And I'll give you another quick tip here, okay? Now, you will definitely come across information as to tell you backlinks are, you know, considered as popularity votes, okay? Get that out of your mind. It doesn't work like that, okay? So remember, backlinks are not considered popularity votes, okay? Once you get that in your head, as to once you understand that, then you will understand how you meant to get backlinks, okay? Because if you have a mentality as to, oh, you know what? Backlinks are considered popularity votes because some idiot has told you that, okay? And then what you'll do is simply start getting backlinks thinking you're giving a vote to yourself, okay? Well, it doesn't work like that and it will actually damage you if you think that backlinks are this, okay? Because backlinks are not that, okay? Another tip that I want to pass on to you is page rank for Google. Everyone's saying, oh, how important page rank is and all this for Google ranking and so on, okay? No, it isn't. You know, that's, that's like 10 years ago, okay? That's like, you know, that's history stuff, okay? Page rank for Google rankings. Everyone's saying, get a backlink from high page rank websites and so on. No, 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 no. Not in the 2012-2013. Okay? Forget about that. Page rank doesn't mean a jack for Google rankings. Just understand that because then it's going to save time for you. Okay. I want to thank you very much once again and simply check out my other videos. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.